games. San Beda still has a couple of teams that they want to, you know, take on. Like Letran, who dealt them their first loss. That will be the last game of the second round for San Beda on August 31. As we take a look at the quarter scoring. Oh, well, I'm 30, no? I thought they scored something like uh, 30 points, but very close, close. scoring 27. Eh, kanina, below 20 lahat ng uh, binigay nitong uh, CSB no? sa, dito sa San Beda. But uh, really in the third quarter, we just saw, again, the offensive juggernaut, the strength of uh, San Beda working very well for Coach Tranquilin. Now the second unit is in for San Beda. We began the fourth quarter. Layuf wide open for the three ball, way off the mark that time. Now Karam, over to Lanete, Lanete. He will get the foul. So you know for a fact that he's not just um, an outside shot. I don't see uh, Garbo Lanete at that time, no? And yes, he knew when he was a took it strong, had some body English, and got that foul. Two free throws. I saw Coach uh, Frankie Lim was very happy with his uh, third quarter performance. Let us see uh, Garbo Laneta, I think, had seven points. Or he had six points in the third quarter. Gary Sevilla checks out. Robles is back on the floor for St. Benil. You can hear the San Beda, of course, the loyalists of San Beda, the Red Lion fans and supporters. Family and friends of the players enjoying in. Are they already doing the victory <laughs> victory chant? <laughs> the Indians are here <laughs> and they're so happy. We just started. I, I hope they're not hungry. <laughs> That's dangerous. We just started the fourth quarter, but they're already uh, chanting. It's still far from over. Eight minutes and 40 seconds. Six on the shot clock. Lanepe. This is just too much. Even the second unit bombarding with those outside shots. Now Robles tried to go to Harvey Forrest, but there was a tip that time. Last touch on the red line, so ball will stay with St. Benil with 16 seconds on their shot clock. Boras almost losing it. Boras will post up Taganas, Big Daddy Taganas. And there is the steal by Lenete. Over to Karam. Karam, the jumper. No in and out. The crowd would have erupted had he made that shot. Pero yung tira niya, no? Kita mo, very confident yung uh, kanyang jump shot. Grabbing kampiyan sa tumbadan to. In the meantime, let's go back to Pia Boren with more about the Red Lions. Pia. Yes, Andre, even with this lead, Coach Frankie still sees room for improvement. He's calling out for even more aggression from his team. Coach also wants him to continue trapping well, continue running, and continue fighting for those rebounds. Don't look at the score, he said, and don't relax until the end of this ballgame, Andre. Thank you very much, Bill. That was brought to you by... Hello, hello, hello. Of course, we are back here at the Arena in San Juan City. My favorite part of the game. Beautiful ladies, enjoy the NCAA Season 83 action. And our, of course, Samsung face of the day is none other than Miss Leanne Rubio of St. Benil, 19 years old. A pretty smile, of course. This is also uh, what we can offer here in the NCAA, Allen, and that's the reason why you are here. That's true. And so, you know, it's important to know, we have to emphasize she's 19 years old. Andre, huh? Thank you, thank you very much, Director Al Neri. Kabadu almost losing his <laughs> almost losing his footing that time. Okay, oh, oh, that again. I think he's enjoying himself. Oh, oh yes, yes. I, like, do. I, I don't really know how to get the money. We're here, we're focused on the game. But they're, you know, they're just so sharp and looking for those beautiful faces here in uh, San Juan. That's based on... <laughs> that's that's based on experience already, you know. Right, right, Director right. Abit Ramos, Director Alneri, Raul De Ocampo, all these guys have experience already in it, looking at the great shots, you know. Dave Marcelo and also left leg of Chris Cabato that collided that time. We'll find out if it's really that serious 
Hopefully not. Hopefully not a really serious injury being a... Uh, Alam mo na medyo bata tayo nangyayari din sa atin na pag uh, bumaligtad yung ano ng bisikleta, yung, <laughs> yung balik ng bisikleta, yung... Di ba? Tapos natama ka ka nung... Uh, I remember that. <laughs> Oh, that, that, that's really painful. And now, Sang better having problems bringing the ball for a sport. Thus, a turnover for the Red Lions. And a foul will be called on Karam. Second personal foul on Antonio Karam. Third team foul on San Beda. Harvey Boras will bring it in. He has to bring it in. He does over to Cabato. Cabato against Equi. To the rookie Monte Castro. Monte Castro zigzagging over to Robles. The three ball short. There's Gamalinda for the rebound. Lanete. Now Equi, the jumper for Sam Equi. No, Monte Castro with the board. Off and running now is Monte Castro. He'll take it strong to the hole. He gets a foul from Gamalinda. And that's a good strong move by uh, Monte Castro at the time. It was one against three, but uh, he knew it was an opportunity for him to finish the break well. At kanina pa natin pinupoint out, ano, I think this is one of the strength, strengths of this young man. Uh, for his height, he's uh, quite a good finisher. Oh yes, and he's really tall for a point guard. 6'1", point guard, and has the body, you know, right body as point guard. And this rookie will definitely still grow as the years go by. There is Dave Marcellus. Uh, young uh, smile niya will uh, okay have to na. say, say yes. something about uh, the whole situation that he's in. Then masakit talaga yun. Equit grabbing that rebound, his 15, make that 18th rebound in this game. There is Garbo Lanete off the bench with 11 points. So it's been a balanced scoring attack for the San Beda Red Lions. Cabatu, the jumper. Again, another miss for Chris Cabatu. Although those are the really, uh, really just the kinds of shots that Chris Cabatu can take in front of our uh, Sam Equi. Face up jumpers. He cannot really post up against uh, Sam Equi. There's that flash shot by Garbo Lanete. Courtesy of that assist from Taganas. 69-44 is the score. 25-point lead for the Red Lions. Equa the jumper, another miss for him. Tabatu thought he had it, but no, Equa says, what are you thinking? And stop my third block in this game. Let's go back to Bea Atienza with more about the Blazers and see how serious Andre, the Blazers are just set on working twice as hard as time seems to be against them. Coach implied that he wants the energy from the first half to resurface. It seems that the Red Lions are driving us to panic. They're out playing us on all areas, yes, but we have to work hard and have to improve our boxing out and our transition defense. We must also challenge their shots. He doesn't want to see the boys jogging on the court. Rather, he wants them to put pressure on the Red Lions. Things seem to be unsteady for the Blazers, but Coach Coloy asked for them to play with pride. Andre? Thank you so much, Bea. That was your Samsung courtside report. With Samsung, it's not that hard to imagine. So the crowd is just enjoying and still looking for that uh, first slam dunk of Sam Equi. We haven't seen yet. 69-46, 23-point lead. We are now on our Samsung halfway mark of the final quarter with Samsung. It's not that hard to imagine. Four minutes and 47 seconds to play. Equi averaging 14 points. He's just a point shy of his average. Gamalinda. Thought about taking the three goes closer to jumper and there is Sam Equi, but Chris Robles with a steal. Off and running now to Blazers, Monte Castro. But you know, we've got to give special mention to the kind of game that Chris Robles is playing. Oh, yes. Chris Robles in this game has got a total of uh, 16.